I know that if you're in sales today, that you are probably frustrated because buyers are changing the game. We don't buy like we used to buy. A year ago, two, three, five, ten years ago, we are changing everything about how we buy. We enter your sales funnel later than ever before. We're more educated than ever before. We don't answer the phone like we used to. We don't respond to emails like we used to. So what are you supposed to do? How do you break through to today's buyer in an overly saturated media environment where we are constantly messaged at more than ever before? How do you stand out? There is a formula that works, and it is called spades. I will let you decide whether I look more like a poker player or a gardener. And if you want to know, I will tell you afterward, but the formula is called spades. Okay, the S in spades stands for stories. We don't want to hear bullet points and facts and figures and benefits and blah, blah, blah. We don't want to hear that anymore. We want to hear stories about how others have used your product or service successfully. That's also called social proof, which is an extremely effective way for you to capture those stories. When you have a happy customer, capture them on videotape if you can, just on your phone. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. In fact, the less fancy it is, the more authentic that it is. And I will get to that later because that is also important. But capture stories and put those into your newsletter, onto your website, in your marketing materials, not just features, benefits, facts, figures. The P in spades stands for people. We want to see faces of other people. We want to see faces of people who make it happen within your company. We want to know their story. So stories and people tie together very closely. Capture stories of the people in your company and also capture stories of the people who are buying, using your products and services. Put those out to the masses. Put those out on social media. Those people are more relatable to us, more trustworthy than you are, because you are paid to say nice, wonderful things about your company. So we trust other people who don't have skin in the game. Capture their stories as people that do business with you. The A in spades stands for authenticity. I mentioned it before. You may think authenticity is an overused word, but it is crucially important today. It is one of the major factors in us deciding whether or not we trust you and like you is if you are authentic and if we can see you as a relatable, trustworthy human being. This goes back to stories. Tell your own story differently. Make yourself into a relatable, flawed, wonderful, likable person. Humanize yourself to us. We buy from people, not companies, especially now that 90% of customers don't trust businesses or institutions anymore. We trust you. The D in spades stands for differentiation. I get sold stuff all the time. I get prospected all the time. And your messages all sound the same. So in a marketplace where it is so cluttered, there's so much noise, you have to make it easy for your customer to understand what's different about you. You have to tell your story differently. You have to write differently. You have to sound different from them. You have to look different from them. So do some market research and see what your competition is putting out there and make absolutely sure you do not sound like they do. You do not look like they do. The E in spades stands for education. We live in an era of the internet. There has never been a time where information is more readily available to us as consumers than right now. So you do not need to educate us like you used to educate us. You need to educate us differently, meaning what I like to see is how other customers are using your product or service differently in a unique way or in a new way. So educate us on things that we cannot find on your website. Think about that as a different way to educate us, an authentic way to educate us. These all tie together. Tell stories about that. The final S in spades stands for solutions. Now, what you think is a solution may not be what your customer today thinks is a solution. And the only way to provide them with solutions that they want is to understand what do they want more than anything else. And it is likely not the lowest price. You can get higher prices. You can beat out the cheaper competition if you provide us with solutions we already want, we absolutely want. I can tell you for your industry, I already know what they are. Your buyers at the end of the day, 
want two things. They want to look like a rock star for doing business with you. They are spending a lot of money to hire you and your company. At the end of the day, they want to be sure that it was the right decision. They want to know that their boss is going to be happy with their decision, their stakeholders, their board of directors, whoever it may be. So they need to look like a rock star. And as an aside, one thing you can do to help that along, after the sale, send a letter to their boss about how great it was to work with them. You will build loyalty and get referrals like never before. The other thing they want, the other solution, is they want it to be easy to do business with you. If it is not easy, they will tell all of their friends in the industry, and they talk, believe me. So make sure in your marketing, you mention those two things. We are going to make you look so good for hiring us, and it is going to be easy to work with us. Those are the two solutions they want more than anything else. And then you can compete on more than just price.